Mozart's earliest surviving piece is actually a solo keyboard work, K1A, which is a little andante that he wrote in the first three months, as his father Leopold Mozart wrote it, of his fifth year. Now that might mean that we're talking about spring 1760 when Mozart was just over four years old. The surviving manuscript is not in Mozart's handwriting but in that of his father's and the interesting thing about this little piece is that it starts off with three beats in a bar and gives up on that halfway through and goes unashamedly into two beats in a bar like this. Also for Mozart's infancy is this little minuet in F, K5, again written in his father's handwriting. some of these early pieces begin to get a sense of his emerging confidence in handling not just abstract ideas but contrasting textures. For instance in that little minuet K5 what we have immediately after the central double bar because this is a binary form minuet another form that he absorbed from his contemporaries we get this is, is to start with what we call a sequence, an idea which is repeated but a scale step higher. <music> followed by a contrasting theme, which is what you would expect. But the really interesting point that I want to try to make here is that this now six-year-old child isn't content simply going through the routine manoeuvres. When he has a new contrasting theme, he signals that by changing the texture. So we have in the right hand these broken semiquaver ideas. Notice that he doesn't just repeat it at the same octave register, he transfers the second repeat an octave higher. So he's already getting a feel for the contrasting colour of different registers of the instrument. <laughs> 